Jamon, uh, what have you seen from Florida's running backs and just the challenge you guys on defense are going to have when it's against them? Um, <clears throat> no, I think they're running back to the big piece and big key of their offense. Two and seven, run the ball really hard. Um, they're physical backs, uh, good backs. They have great tackles. Um, they have a lean forward. You know, just like I said, beginning what I just <clears throat> replied to one. They just a big piece of their offense. They they go through them. It's kind of along those lines, but how, you've played them a lot now at this point. This will be your third time uh, seeing Florida. How are, are they different with? Graham Mertz, are they are they markedly different this year than in previous years when you've seen him because because of Mertz and then apparently they have that run game that they throw off. Uh. I say a little different um, from the past. You know, let's go into the twenty twenty year. That's when I actually started watching them. That's when they had uh, eleven at QB, Kyle Pitts. They had. Uh, the shifty wide receiver dude, okay. yeah, Kadarius Tony. <clears throat> to now fast forward, you know they got two good backs, and um, they I don't think the backs was a big part of their game because they had you know eighty four and one. So uh, fast forward this year, they have a dual back set, which is two and seven. Like I said, you know they did a great job this whole year, um, carrying them on their backs, and they do have two good receivers, one and three, who they try to get the ball to. And they do a great job of that with their route running and their, you know, they're complimenting their play action here, deep shot to them, run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. You bite up, play action. So they, they do a great job of mixing their offense up between them four guys with two guys, you know, deep and run. Hey, Jamon, I was just wondering, uh, with the bye week, I was wondering what the messages in the locker room from coaches and leaders like you have been just to, like, mentally prepare and get yourselves back into the thick of things and get ready for the season. Well, <clears throat> for those guys, we know what type of, you know, we spent two weeks on certain opponents, but the last two days of the, the bad week was Florida, Florida days, introducing our team to them. But, you know, the whole team know what kind of week it's going to be. Um, so really we just preaching the, it's going to be a different type of week towards the freshmen. And um, that's pretty much it. You know, just, it's going to be a physical game. They're, they're more like, they're more like us than any other opponent we played. So it's going to be a similar game. It's just like practice at the end of the day. It's just going on Saturday. Yeah, we had Cedric this yesterday too, but for, for a guy who didn't necessarily grow up around it, what is the process like of learning about the Georgia-Florida rivalry, what it means to both programs, uh, that kind of stuff when you get here as a freshman? I mean, it means everything. Um, I think I told you all about the, you know, the ranking of rivalries between, you know, Kirby so, you know, I definitely put Florida second this week, this time. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, he <clears throat> he tried to, he emphasizes uh, it's going to be a physical game. You know, they're just like us between the hedges, you know, between them sidelines. And um, ultimately, like, you know, they got some coaches that been here. And, you know, they, they preach on the same thing that we preach on, physicality, um, details, you know, things of that nature. Uh, yeah, the off week. What if, did, did you guys? Uh, did you get to stay? You obviously live a long ways away. You don't get to go home. I don't guess. So what did what did you do on the off week, or did you just stay here and chill? I, I stayed. I stayed and chill. You know, you go home. <clears throat> no, you can. You know, yeah, you go home. You, I, I land. You know, I blink my eye. I might be getting back on the plane. So I just chill. John, you said Florida is more like you guys than your opponent. What ways stand out in that way that you see similarities with this Florida team? Well, you know, like I said, like the running game, they're running game very physical. They have good backs, like we have good backs. Probably got three. They got they got two. You know, um, their line does a great job of uh, pushing, getting off the ball. Um, they have a big old line, just like us. So it's similarities just in the run game. Um, Big, big, big linemen. We have big linemen. They have good backs. We have good backs. That's secondary I have, but uh, like I said, just the physicality of the two teams. I'm just gonna hang on to this now. Uh, now, I, it's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I mean you've been here for every win of the current win streak. 
Uh, Mark asked some people about this the other day. It's a good question. Is there stress that comes with the streak? Or you, I think you've been behind maybe five times in games during this streak, six times or whatever it's been. Uh, does that begin to mount as uh, the streak get longer and longer? You guys haven't lost. Is that okay? Stress. <laughs> is there stress that comes with it? Well, you're talking like trailing the games? Yeah, well, just stress and trying to keep the streak alive, yeah, I and mean, not losing. Talking about the the streak that's like from this year, like, we don't worry well, about going it. Going all the way back to when you were a, a freshman. You, know I mean? you guys haven't lost since then. I mean, shoot, we don't we don't talk about that. You know, you you guys talk about that. We we don't we don't even think about that. Only time I thought about it when you just asked. So we don't even <laughs> think about that. You know, we play game by game. Um, we go we got a long week throughout the week to prepare for the game. So. To think about a, a street like that, we, we don't even come across our mind. Yeah, Pop, there's been a lot of other, there's been a lot of uh, reporting in the news lately about sign stealing and, and what's going on up in Michigan. I'm curious as a defender, if you know what the opposition is about to do, whether it's just as simple as whether or not they're about to run or pass the football, how much of an advantage would that be to you as a defender? It's, it's, it would be huge, but. Uh, I don't think we sign still over here. That's, no, you don't. Yeah, so our preparation and the, and the coaches doing their job is a big piece, and I think that's why we've been very successful on defense the last few years. So I think that goes into our preparation and um, the coaches doing their job. I don't know about them signing still. Yeah. Any other questions? All right, thank you. Thanks, Thanks, man.